What is up everybody, Jordan here with the deck box, uh, back with you again for some more PTCGO content, uh, as well as a tournament update from myself. Um, and what we're gonna be looking at tonight, uh, to me was actually a pretty big thing. Um, as some of you may know, I only started playing Pokemon about a year ago, last August, so just a little bit over a year. And, you know, in that year of playing, I haven't, um, really done extremely well at a tournament like at all like I've had some really good starts and then just kind of flops after that uh, but on top of that I haven't gone to a ton of tournaments uh, this um, season I actually said you know what, I'm gonna try to get a little bit more competitive uh, just learn a lot more about the game uh, about the meta game <clears throat> excuse me and how to uh, work with a changing meta consistently I hope that makes sense so um, in my past tournaments I've gone to, I'll do really well with the deck and I think this is it, this is the deck I'm going to do because it's fun, but it's not right for the meta. And that is what I have learned with, um, with this last tournament. Every, like I said, every time I go I just get creamed because I'm not paying attention to what the meta is and I end up making a fool of myself. So for this tournament, I said, you know what, I'm gonna go with what I know, but not just what I know, what makes sense. Does this make sense with what is going on with the meta? Um, does it actually line up with what's going on? And in this case, I said, you know what, this deck does, so I'm gonna play it, and things went pretty well for me, so I'm gonna walk you through the list, I'm gonna tell you about uh, my matchups, and uh, then we'll play one quick game with this, and, uh, and I'll send you guys on your way. So without further ado, we're gonna hop into this list. Uh, starting, I mean, as you can see, it's a Sil Valley Metal list. Um, I'm not gonna really go through the entire list. You can see the counts here, you know, three, three Sil Valley, pretty standard. Two Celesteela has become uh, what I would say a staple in, um, in these Sil Valley Metal decks. It just makes sense uh, having that lightning weakness so you can have at least a, a little bit better chance against things like, um, Volcanion, um, so yeah, really, really good attacker. Then you've got Cobalion, of course, it's a nice little tech in there. Genesect uh, kind of became popular with Zach Kreckler uh, recently at the uh, Internets, and uh, actually, funny story, some of you guys saw the, um, the Ultra Beast box opening, and one of the packs I pulled, I pulled a Genesect, and this was during London Internet, and I didn't realize Zach was playing this card in his list, and I saw that card, and I was like, oh, this might be a good card in that list. And then my friend was like, yeah, he's playing it. So I was like, all right, well, I, I was right. I'm putting it in. Uh, so have one of those. I decided to put a Cartana in. Uh, if any of you guys have seen some of our recent videos with my testing with this list, I didn't have Cartana because it just wasn't working for me. I wasn't playing it a ton. Uh, but again, it matches what's going on with the meta, so I decided to include it, and, uh, and it worked really well for me. Uh, two Registeel, one Scizor EX, uh, and three Lele. That's the Pokemon count. Uh, one thing that I changed literally like as I showed up to the tournament, um, I originally did not play the Psychic Memory. I decided to do uh, what Zach had done, but when I showed up to the tournament, I heard word of some Buzzwall, and I was like, you know what? It, it just makes sense to include this. It wasn't a huge tournament, uh, ended up being 10 of us, uh, but still had some decent competitors so um, I decided you know, I'm gonna throw in the psychic memory so in order to do that I did cut my one Magirna from the list um, which now that I think about it it's kind of funny the way it turned out because I asked Erica I was like hey do you think there's gonna be a lot of uh, special conditions and things like that that are gonna really mess with me she goes no no you're fine and now that I think about it she was playing um, Oh, you know what? No, she wasn't. I was going to say she was playing Sil Valley Guardy. She was, she was playing uh, Broken Vor. So never mind. She couldn't have pleaded me. So yeah, there weren't really a ton of conditions like that. So I said, you know what? I'm going to scrap my gear and it doesn't make sense for this tournament. Uh, and then I also cut one Metal Energy to include those two Psychic Memories. So my energy counts look a little low at only eight. Uh, but again, it worked out well for me. Uh, the rest of the counts are pretty standard. We do run the Elixirs in this list, which were super, super helpful. Um, standard counts on all the supporters, one Ace Arola, one Bridget, three Guzma, three N, four Sycamore, um, three Choice Man. Uh, so yeah, like I said, pretty standard uh, with what's going on with Sil Valley Metal right now. 
and again, it's okay to go with what is currently the most popular uh, because if it's the most popular of that type of list, that there's a reason for it. It's because it's doing well. Um, so yeah, so now I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my matchups, uh, which actually kind of funny story with those as well. Um, so I'm on my way there and Erica texts me and she's, and originally she and I were planning on it being just kind of the people that go to our league on, on a Tuesday nights, which isn't a ton of people. Um, and so I'm like literally 10 minutes away from the place. And she said, she texts me and she says, the Crecklers are here. And I was like, crap, like, I, I, I like the Cracklers. They're awesome. They're, they're cool people. But, man, they're so good at Pokemon. Like, Zach's got a four-digit ID number. So, that, like, he, pretty much Pokemon came out. He got in line and said, hey, I want to sign up and play. Um, so, if anyone knows the game, it's Zach. Uh, and if there's any difficult competition, it's Zach. And his brother, Alex, as well. They're both very, very good players. So, I'm like, okay, well, this is going to be a little bit tougher than I thought. But, you know, it's fine. It's, it's two players in the field. But... I mean, there were 10 of us. Two, two out of the 10 players were those two. So I was like, it's going to be tough competition. So we get there. I make the last minute changes, uh, which I usually, I just don't change cards last minute like that. Um, but it made sense too. Um, so we're waiting for pairings. Pairings go up. I'm paired against Alex to start. Like I said, Alex is a good player. Um, really nice guy. I got to talk to him a little bit before we started playing. And, uh, he said that the list that he's using was the list he used at London, and he made like 70-something with it, which is really good in a huge tournament like that. So he did well with this list, and I was like, okay, well, that's not going to be easy then. I didn't know what he was playing. He did tell me that all the brothers played different lists when they went to London, so I knew it wasn't Zach's list, so I wasn't playing the mirror, which was good news. So we started to play. He's playing a uh, Lorantis GX Bulu... Zorark list and it was a really cool list and it made a lot of sense you know you use Zorark to trade your energies use Lorantis um, to put the energy back onto your Bulus and just keep cycling it that way so it's a really neat list um, super close game literally for like the last 10 minutes of the game we both had one prize card left and it was just a matter of who was going to get it first you know who's going to get their Gizma or the right energy and uh, I actually ended up taking it finally it was just oh, so so tough very satisfying win not gonna lie it's always great to win that first one uh, kind of give you a little bit of boost and uh, especially against a player of his caliber uh, just really I don't know kind of put a spring in my step if that makes sense like I just I really felt confident from that point um, so yeah so that was round one round two I went up against the player who was playing Buzzwall and um, surprisingly he's he's a very good player at our league uh he tends to put together these odd lists but they do really well uh he didn't put together a crazy list this time he went with buzzwall garb and um so i was a little bit nervous because i need my Sil valleys for the free retreat but i don't want to go crazy with him because he could just take easy knockouts on them um he had a little bit of tough time setting up and um you know cell steel was able to come out and do its thing uh, I think I started the game with Kartana or something like that. Like, it was a terrible start. It was either Kartana or Cobalion, like, not the best starters. Um, in fact, I'm pretty sure it was Cobalion. And uh, I had to work around that. And Genesec put in a lot of work. Genesec became a huge attacker. Uh, but the psychic memories never came into play. I never ended up needing them. Uh, took some big knockouts on Lele's and a couple buzz walls and uh and that was the game i ended up taking that one pretty easily um there were some points where it was getting a little shaky because with genesect you just discard your energy like crazy and then you know you're left with the board and no energy so uh took that one though thankfully and um was and actually that one i was end to one and i'm pretty sure i got a sycamore from it which i was really happy with um but I had my Genesect on the bench with four energy so he could do 180 and he's got a Lele on his bench and I was like I just I need to get to that Lele I was like I can Sycamore and prep for the next turn whatever and we'll be fine um but thankfully I didn't have to my next top deck was a Gizma and that was game so a uh, really fun way to finish that match and uh, again big sigh of relief so at that point I'm 2-0 
and um, I'm going into what I think is the finals. That's what they originally told us, you know, third round, whatever, that's going to be it. Um, and I knew that the only other player there that was 2-0 was Zach Kreckler. And I was just like, man, this is not going to be easy, obviously, and it shouldn't be. Um, but I was like, you know what, I, I'm, I'm going to play it, I'm going to do fine. And I knew, because, uh, you know, you walk around after you're done playing, I knew what he was playing, and what was funny was, he was playing towards list from uh, London, like card for card. And he even told me it was the exact 60 card list. And I just thought that was funny because I was like, okay, so you lost to it and you decide I'm going to play it at this one. Uh, but you know what? That's what you got to do. You got to learn these decks. And uh, so I thought it was interesting because I'm playing essentially his list. And uh, I was like, okay, so this is like a rematch. And I was like, I know how this goes though. Like I lose this because he lost it. Um, so we get into our match again, super nice guy. Uh, it was a really fun experience getting to play against him. Um, up until recently, I hadn't played against any high profile players. You know, I played against Connor Lavelle recently, and that was a pretty big deal. It was the first time getting to do something like that. And then playing against Zach, I mean, that's a pretty big deal. Uh, and I just had to tell myself, you know, take it slow. Don't, don't rush things. Don't make stupid decisions. Um, you're, you're just playing another game. And and it was, I was doing extremely well. He had a really tough time setting up. He just wasn't getting the cards he needed. Uh, near the end of the game, I had one card left, or one prize left. He had three. So I was in a very good spot. I just had to take a simple knockout on like a Zerua or a, uh, a Wimpod, you know, just something really small. And I just could not get the cards. It was just, it wasn't happening for me. And then it came down 1-1, one, one, and we're just back and forth, back and forth, and he gets the gizmo for game. Um, so, you know, I, I'm i okay with it, losing that, that match, because it's Zach Kreckler. To do that well against him, I felt very um, accomplished with that, uh, and I was very happy with how the match went, win or lose. Uh, it was a good experience. So, uh, so, yeah, so that was, like I said, what I thought was finals, and I thought, okay, well, I at least get second. And then uh, Vince Kreckler, Zach's dad, was actually there, and he went and talked to one of the people. He's like, hey, with 10 players, you're supposed to get four rounds. And so they changed it to four rounds, and I was like, okay, so I still have a shot at first because if Zach loses by some chance, if he loses and I win, my resistance I knew was way higher than his. He had played against um, a player early on that didn't do too well, and I think his second round is actually a player that didn't end up doing too well. And of course, I played against him and his brother, and um, the other guy I played against. You know, he had a really good resistance at that point, uh, or he had a good record at that point. And uh, so, I was like, I still have a shot. Uh, so, I sit down to play my last match, and the person I'm playing against is playing Del Fox Break against this list. So I am super nervous, like. Um, he, this guy tends to play some of those rogue decks like that, some some odd decks here and there. And um, so I'd seen him play this before, but I didn't even, it didn't even come into my mind that someone would play Delphox Break at this tournament. Um, it's just not on my radar. So I sit down and play him. I'm super nervous. Zach ends up playing against the guy playing Buzzwall. So I'm the first couple turns into this game, and they're sitting over next to us, and the guy that's playing, or you know, they both uh, decided just to ID. And I was like, dude, like, you didn't even try. Like, if you would have beaten him and I win this, then then I win the whole thing. And he's like, man, I'm not going to beat him. Uh, and they ended up playing the game afterwards. And he lost, but uh, the guy at my league lost. But um, he, uh, he, he prized all of his leles and some other crazy stuff. So... He had a chance. He just, he didn't try. He didn't try for me, but that's fine. So, so I'm playing this Del Fox match and it was actually going really well for me. Genesect was putting in a lot of work, same as before, um, attaching those energy and being able to do the 140 to the Del Fox before it becomes a break was super, super helpful. Um, because none of my other cards hit for 140, um, other than sell steal with its GX, but that is it. That is literally it. So I had to use Genesect a lot in that match, which really sucks because Genesect is weak to fire. So keeping him out there in the front lines was, you know, not the best thing. 
Um, but it worked out. I took that win, uh, ended the tournament 3-1, uh, and actually got second uh, to Zach Crackler, uh, who ended 3-0-1. So I was super happy. Um, my resistance was like 69%, 68%. It was crazy, you know, playing against two of the other really, really good players. Um, but yeah, so I know it was just a league challenge, but for me, it was a huge victory. Um, that's the first time that I've placed at a tournament, big or small. Uh, honestly, first time getting points. Um, so what that tells me is I'm doing something right. I'm getting uh, where I need to go as far as learning how to play in tournaments a little bit better and really just kind of calm the tension for whenever I sit down and um, just taking that second to be like, okay, they're playing this, this is how I play it, and then move through things uh, as opposed to just getting really uh, jumbled up and, and just messing things up. So, so yeah, so I was very happy with that. Got one of the, the promos. Mine says first place because I had multiple, so they just gave me a first place one. So that was pretty cool. Uh, so that's a big deal to me. So yeah, so that was my tournament report. Now I'm going to um, show you guys just the deck in action. Um, like I said, some of you have probably already seen it from some of our testing videos. And of course, I'm sure you've seen uh, Zach's um, list kind of thrown all over uh, YouTube because it's an amazing list. So it's very similar to mine. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to see what we got here. Uh, it looks, is this, um, it's either Zorark Decidueye or Zorark uh, Galissapod. So we will see. Got my big thing of eggnog here. And some uh, gummy lifesavers. All right, so I win the coin flip. So I should be able to get my Bridget turn one as long as it doesn't get prized. Wimpod. Bummer. We did not prize our Bridget. One so Valley, one so Stila. One metal. All right, so let's get ourselves two of you and one of you. I'm not gonna put that one on first. Don't want it to get e hammered away. So, all right, so you're getting to see basically. Um, my round against Zach. Hopefully. Hopefully it goes that well. Thank you. Because I did not have much to do next turn. What I really need is to find some elixirs and start setting Cell Steel up. We do get our Cell Valley, which is good. Actually, DCE, Sycamore this away. So they do play floats in their list. So it's not towards list. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Dump that. Hopefully get Elixir. If not, I can get those back on with his attack. Oh, we got an Elixir. Do we? Nope. All right, that's fine. Turbo arm for 30. Attach the Celestia. And we'll just keep on rolling. So Celestia is pretty much ready to just go off. And actually, if I can top deck a uh, choice band, that would be amazing.
Oh, you know what? I don't even need Choice Band because he's already down to 180 HP. So I'm just going to GX this guy and get him out of here. Not even going to hit me for much, which is good. Alright. Yeah, I'm just going to put it on here. Trying to think if there's anything I'd want to do. Not really. I'm just gonna take him down. We don't need to play supporter this turn. Hold on to those when they matter. Easy knockout. Ooh, and the elixirs. Yeah, I say we get those and get them on the type null. Potentially, and uh, there's beef from there. Man, he's sick of more a few times now, hasn't he? A couple, yeah. He's having a rough time. So he's gonna swing for 130. He uses a Pokedex. That's interesting. Gotta remember what that does. Okay. I guess... I guess that goes with the Zorark GX, maybe? Hmm. I guess that way you play an item instead of Mallow to, uh, to get your right draws. I don't know. I'm just guessing. Let's try this again. There we go. <clears throat> see if we can hit it twice. We can hit it twice. Set this up on you. Um, I'm just going to dump both the ends and get myself a Soul Valley and then Sycamore. Just a really fluid deck, to be honest with you. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six. We know we prized, no, that's seven. We prized one metal. Yeah, so we're not gonna waste the elixir because it won't hit. Yeah, we put one there. And if we just, I think we just bop them. Going down to three. Now, what do we get? The other energy? Yeah. really want them to have all that into a Zorak GX, just so I can, yep, looks like he's going to do that. So we can take an easy knockout with Soul Valley, and then close out with just a one prize again. Or maybe we play the seven prize game, that's fine. But we do know we need to take two at some point to make this quicker. Swing for 60 right now. No choice band, no other Pokemon. Nope, he gets the other Pokemon. He's gonna KO Celesteela, which really sucks. So maybe we Ultra Ball, Lele, Sycamore. I think that's the play. Try to get that uh, fighting memory, not choice pain. It's an 
interesting that he put on that one instead of the one with the grass energy. All right, so we didn't have to Ultra Ball. But I do want to thin the deck. I don't want to draw into any of these other Pokemon that aren't really useful. Um, I think we get rid of him. There's that fighting memory. There we go. And to be honest, he may scoop it up after this. Uh, we will take that and put it on you. Um, sure. Oh, baby Galissapod. That's different. Do we still have Guzmas left? We have one more Guzma. Out of 15 cards. Do we hit it? I mean, he needs so many things right now to start taking prizes, and he's got, or not to start taking prizes, but to take all of his prizes, and he only has 10 cards left. <clears throat> it took him forever to finally get a Zorark, and once he did, he was trading like crazy and dumping more resources. I still have two more DCEs in deck. I just realized that. but takes 30 less. So we'll just hit for 90. Two shot him and close it out. All right, so he may get this close spot out of the active if he can. He's gonna try. There's the float. All right. Oh, he's just gonna ace Rolla. Good play, good play. So he's gonna hit us for 150. All right, where, where's our Guzma? Oh no, oh, why did I click done? Oh, that is what you don't do, guys. Oh, if we lose because of that, I'm just gonna be so, so tilted and so salty. And he can hit us for 60 and knock us out with his attack, which is what's really stupid. That was dumb. He probably has no idea what just happened. I can't believe I just did that. That was so stupid. And those are getting harder to knock out. Now he's gonna take 20 less.
<laughs> ooh, ooh, we got Stretcher, which means we got Guzma, which means we got Game. Whew. All right, we got Guzma. Yep, we got two more in there. So we're going to bring out this uh, baby Zorark for Game. Glad we didn't get punished for our mistake. We should have gotten punished for our mistake, but... Oh, I just realized. I said we had two. We had two in our discard. Duh. All right, I'll bring, make sure. Yep. Celesteela, do your thing. And moon press. All right. Whew. That should not have been that close. That was stupid. Can't believe I clicked done right at the end. But anyway, guys, you now see the deck, how it works. Um, I said we were playing against, you know, Tord's list there. Not really. It was very different from Tord's. Um, but same concept. So uh, I hope you can see now uh, how the deck plays, why I play the cards that I play, um, and really just how smooth it is. Um, I, I didn't really have too many issues, except near the end needing that Guzmo. My bench was full. Uh, and that was really what it came down to but we got the top decks at the right time. So what we're gonna do now, we are going to, excuse me, grab a pack of Crimson Invasion. I think we have Fate's Collide pack as well. And I'm just gonna bust these open, just for funsies. Just to celebrate. <clears throat> and it's a Red Rock. And actually, I really need those. I have no Red Rocks online. So there's one. It's a good way to get them. And what I actually need online now is a couple more Buzzwell too. I have one, but I don't have the last two I need. So let's see. Nope, Houndoom. Alrighty. Well, there you go, guys. Um, let me put this list back up on the board for you, or on the board, on the screen for you, so you can uh, take a look at it. If you'd like, you can build it for yourself. Have a little fun with it. If you do build it, uh, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you thought of it. Let me know, you know, did it work for you? Did it clunk up? Let me know some some tweaks you may make, uh, and I may consider them and maybe uh, post them in a future video. So, guys, um, if you're new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button to let us know that you did. And as usual, we will see you next time here on the deck box, where we want to know what is in your box. Have a great night, guys. Thank you.